Let's do the thing. Julie, do the thing. Julie, do the thing. Oh. Julie, will you do the thing with me? And welcome to Four Weebs That Anime Podcast. This is the podcast where we pick some animes and we talk about them. My name is Beta, and I will be your host for this week because I picked animes last week. Um, I've been watching anime for uh, seven years, eight years, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm a pretty pretty seasoned anime fan, and I don't know how to talk. We didn't decide on an order. Anyway, somebody else go. <laughs> Save me, I'm drowning. Okay, well, my name's Leah, and as I've mentioned before on the podcast, I've also been watching anime for a long time, but uh, interesting fact, I'm seeing it float around today, that it was Hayao Miyazaki's 75th birthday here recently, so that's pretty cool, because we all love him, because where would we be without Studio Ghibli, so yeah, my fun fact for the day. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Becca. Uh, anime, watch lots of. My favorite quote for today is, I appreciate you five million times more, baby. (laughs) Okay. That sums something? (laughs) Yes. Oh, Oh, dear. Liam? Konnichiwa. Oh, actually, that makes sense. Watashiwa, Liam-san. That's not, you're not (laughs) You're not supposed to say son at the end. You can just say Liam does Okay. Well, yes, I can't speak Japanese after asshole. all. <laughs> oh, Liam was trying so hard. You guys just Good shot job. him down. Hey, I, I haven't hey, like, actually that learned Japanese any course, Japanese. That Japanese course Beta and I took had to be good for something. <laughs> you don't add sand to the end of your name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At this, I'm sorry, point, I'm, at this point, I'm embarrassing myself on purpose. <laughs> Excuse me, but I I would like to hold the the post of worst Japanese word butcher ever. Anyway, that's my job. No, <laughs> it's it's a race now. Oh it's shit! On. Okay, well, okay. Everyone... how offensive can we be? The listeners I mean, better buckle up because it's gonna get bad. <laughs> I mean, we're obviously like, real real life Japanese people are obviously were have been sickened by us from the beginning. But like, how much worse can we make it? I feel like we could take Fair it to, I mean, by, to over 9,000, at least. <laughs> by us, I mean me. Ah, yes. Just let me have this one thing, Liam. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, right. I'll, I'll stop talking for the rest of the podcast now. <laughs> but, like, have to talk somewhat. Just okay, a bit. You? Anyway, right. so, um... What did we watch? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, we gotta explain how this works. Just quickly. For those of you who don't know if you this is the first episode you've clicked on, um, each week the four of us draw marbles, and there are four of them. We've got, uh, what, one red marble and one blue marble? No, we got rid of the blue marble ages oh, got, ago, okay. man. Sorry, I botched it. We've got oh, one red shit. marble. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever gets the red marble is public enemy number one, and they get to choose the animes for the next week, but they also have to watch the bad anime. Um, the positive side to that is they get to pick somebody to drag down to the hole of anime hell with them. Uh, yeah. I think so... Beta's just done the best description we've ever done. <laughs> Very good. Drag me into the anime hole, baby. <laughs> baby. There are several holes that can mean given the anime realm, so... Why not all the holes? We've sadly been there, in all the holes. The anime hole is ready for you. <laughs> God. Oh no! Oh god! Okay. Right. Also, uh, we only watched the first three episodes, and there will be spoilers, but it's only going to be for the first three. Uh-huh. I didn't do well in my not talking thing. Shame on you! You already goofed. We'll just get the whips out. Oh uh, god! The holes really are ready. <laughs> <laughs> the holes in the whips! Damn it! Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Last week, I also chose the animes, and we ended up watching Deno Coil and Dramatical Murder. So, I'm gonna talk about. We're gonna do the good anime first, which was Deno Coil. Because I like talking first. Yeah, there you go. 
Do it. Oh. It's all so, about Vader. Yes. Let me go find the description. Uh, I'm so prepared. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, my dick levels just keep rising. That <laughs> sounds bad. Oh my god. This is just going to be an innuendo podcast. Instead. Well, it is sorry. a bit of... It is a bit of Liam's harem kicking around. Hey guys, so. I'm really fucking up this podcast, right? <laughs> Whoa. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> the the theme I picked for this week, I forgot to mention, was kind of a sci-fi slash virtual reality kind of thing. So for Deno Coil, the series takes place in the fictional city city of Daikoku, a hotbed of AR development with an emerging citywide virtual infrastructure. It follows a group of children as they use AR glasses to unva- or unravel the mysteries of the half-real, half-internet city using a variety of illegal software tools, techniques, and virtual pets to manipulate the digital landscape. Um, yeah. Okay, so Liam, me and Liam watched this anime this week, the good anime. Do you want to go first, Liam? Sure. Initial thoughts? Uh, well, I went... I went into this anime blind, as I usually do, and it was, when it started off, it was, like, more, um, I guess, childish than I was expecting it to be. Like, the main characters are kids, Mm -hmm. and there's, like, a pretty cartoony-looking dog. That's true. It's, like, it's not a real dog, it's a cyber dog. So that's cool. But then it's it started to grow on me because the way everything's animated was Mm. pretty... Like, it wasn't, like, anything groundbreaking, but it was pretty unique. I guess, like, the movement animation... The the animation of the characters' movements and their faces and stuff was more realistic, but it still had, like, uh, a distinct cartoony look. So that was pretty cool. And the whole concept was pretty original and neat. Uh, everyone just kind of wears these glasses that le- that lets them see, like, the digital world that isn't there. Mm-hmm. So I was pleasantly surprised. I guess those are my initial impressions. Oh, cool. Um, for me, it's... Uh, I didn't know what to expect going into it either. I'd watched, like, a trailer before so that I could pick it, but other than that, I didn't know anything about the show. Um, I... I'd say it's really something I've never really watched in an anime before. It's, it's pretty unique in the premise. It because of the, the I've never watched an anime where they have like this virtual reality kind of over top of the real world and yeah, you can it's only just see like, it. Yeah, it's just like integrated. Yeah, and you can and only like see it, see it through the glasses, kind of. That was neat. Yeah, and it seemed like the only people, well, the only people that they really showed using the glasses were like kids, and then like. The mm-hmm. one badass grandma. Her grandma. Sorry. Are, are the glasses like Google Glass? Yeah, except they're really subtle. Like, they, they don't. They don't make it. They just it look like, like regular bulky. glasses. Nice. Yeah, and for the most part, it, it almost looks like they're not there because the it's very like there's just a couple lines to indicate that they're wearing the glasses. So it's not like really annoying to see them wearing these chunky things on their faces or anything like that. Nice. It's it's well done. <laughs> Um, another thing I thought when I was watching it, I, I liked the character designs, actually, even though they were a bit, uh, simplistic. Yeah, I like, kind of, I like them, too. Mm-hmm. It kind of had, like, a Ghibli feel to it, almost. Oh, yeah, really? you know, it actually did remind me of Ghibli. Even, like, the dynamic between, I mean... Yeah. You only got a little bit of it with the first three episodes, but, like, the little sister and the big sister reminded me of Totoro. Yeah, me too. It was it was very much like that, and like even some of the, like the quiet moments when it was really when it would slow down it was very Ghibli like. Yeah, there's not a lot of like stereotypical over the top anime reactions. Hmm. And uh, I did think it was interesting that they decided to go with because the the characters are all like the main characters are all in sixth grade, which is something you don't usually see in an anime. They're usually mm. high school age and older. At least for me, anyway. So it's it's of the show revolves around kids, but it is made for like a more adult audience. Though? It is like um um. It seems to be a more mature plotline, but the kids are younger, cool. which is different. A yeah. kid could totally watch the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like it's not. Well, I mean, hardcore. it really is kind of like a Ghibli feel. I mean, it makes sense that like both could watch it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, and it's pretty high praise. 
yeah. to give. Right? That's all you have to say, and I'm intrigued. Yes. I yeah, think, basically, I, me yeah. too. <laughs> it's it's good. So, let's dig into the meat. Do you have any good, deep discussions for it this uh, week? I feel like it kind of blew my <laughs> wad already. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Need a Kleenex? <laughs> Or a uh, no, I, the, I don't know, it's honestly not the kind of show I usually watch. Mm-hmm. Like, the whole ki- ki- characters being children and stuff is alright, and I, mm-hmm. I get why that happens, but it's not really something I'm into. Um, I agree, I'm the same way with, like, anime, as soon as it's kids, I'm kind of, like, feel less interested, which is kind of bad, because, like, doesn't mean it's going to be any less interesting, but I guess you just, like, assume... That's true. It's going to be a little more, like, like juvenile. Yeah, Yeah, I ended up liking it just because, like, it wasn't, like, super over the top. There's a lot of subtlety to it. And it's, like, it was cool because I had, you know, elements of sci-fi adventure and peril and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, like, there's no, there's no, like, not a lot of legit danger for the kids. Like, the only danger is that their, like, digital things will get destroyed by these, like, um, antivirus software drones yeah. that kind of go through the city. I guess there's, like, a little... You feel a little bit invested in, like, her pet cyber dog. And, by the uh, way, her pet cyber dog has, like, <laughs> the shittiest three episodes of his life. I know. <laughs> it's like Does he look shit like a dog? Kicked out of, he gets, like, the shit uh, kicked out of him for three episodes, basically. Yeah, like, the kind of animal stuff makes you want to cry? No, no, no. no, no. It's, it's more just, like, man, this dog is having a shitty day. Oh, okay. <laughs> does he look like a cyber dog, or does he look like a regular no, dog? he looks he like, a, like regular a regular dog. Except for his face does kind of look like a butt. I don't know. <laughs> me. Oh my gosh, does he have, like, the big poofy top, like, top chunk lips? Poofy chunk lips? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm yeah. sure. I think so. There you go. It's like cool. a, a butt if you, like, turn it upside down. Maybe. Yeah, I like how, like, the huge, like, the big antivirus, uh, I guess robots. Yeah. What, what are their names again? Sachi. Yeah, that's they're just, it. Like, they're like huge and intimidating, and then they have like this happy face painted on their hull, and, <laughs> and they like, just the are like, "I am Sachi." Yeah. <laughs> and they just talk in this cutesy voice while they like eliminate everything. Yeah. Well, I'm fucking intrigued. You should be. <laughs> Sounds way better than what we watched. <laughs> yeah, although we also had a dog in our anime, a robot mm-hmm. dog in ours. That's oh. why I was so in- so interested. So the it. theme was really robot dogs. Yeah, that mm-hmm. look like regular dogs. I Let's get down to it. That. Um, yeah, I, re- I. What can I say about the show? I I really liked the kind of designs and stuff they had for all like the viruses and everything. Like those. Those Saji robot things were really weird looking. What do they yeah, look like? Yeah, also, I, I kind of want what? a forehead laser. Yeah, me too! They just, like, make a peace sign with their fingers and, like, put their hand on their forehead and shoot just these, like, lasers. Imagine the pose that oh, Sailor Moon does. Like, when she's, <gasps> and then, not the, like, I will punish you, but, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. And yeah, then the laser are really excited. Yeah. But it's not like they have a huge <laughs> attack sequence or power up or anything. No, it just goes it's... and then there's a beam. That's okay. I still have a boner. <laughs> also, um, the the like illegal virus that they're following in the first one, mm-hmm. and those little uh, mojo guy <laughs> servants. <laughs> those are those are total like me like rip offs almost. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, the little poof balls, especially, they look like the dust sprites from like yeah. the early films. They look just like that, but they squeak. Oh, really? And then the like <laughs> the vir- the illegal virus guy looks like a bigger version of them, kind of. Yeah, just like a oh. blobby thing. It's really I thought, like, still. I thought it was like a really creative kind of universe all overall. Yeah, it was definitely a really creative universe. So like that that was that had me intrigued, even though it was something I wasn't really into. Yeah, that's just fair. Just like the more serious stuff. I thought it was pretty funny, like, the one uh, investigator girl that the yeah. girl gets friends with, and then she has, like, kind of that bottomless purse thing. Yeah. And she pulls out that little servant. It's just, like, the little like, naked radish little man. The little naked man? The little naked radish man. He was pretty <laughs> yeah. funny. I, that was so weird when it first showed up. I was like, okay, where, where are they going with this? <laughs> yeah. I just thought it was super weird. Um, it was all right. Yeah. Uh, it was it was cute after it first initially shows up. You're like, oh, that's and he just weird. Makes squeaking noises. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what the, all the viruses do. They just sort of squeak. 
Yeah, the viruses are kind of presented as like helpless spirits mm-hmm. rather than, you know, evil viruses. Yeah. So that like the antivirus programs floating around the city are kind of the bad guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think it's more like they're they're the bad guys, but they're like They're more like the police officers. They're like, "Oh, you kids better stop getting up to such mischief." Yeah, that's a better way to put it. <laughs> oh, they're the bureaucrats of the world. Sure. Yeah. Anti- yeah, and it's a cool it's cool to see how they designed the city where it's like kind of old meets new and it's kind of merging in weird awkward ways. Because you yeah. keep referencing Studio Ghibli, do you find that there's a lot of like nature versus technology themes or is that just uh, not super heavy. Oh. But That's... maybe there will be later on. Yeah. Maybe. Because it, it's it is hard to tell after the first three episodes. Like I think it's more of the 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 feel and the design is very Ghibli. Yeah. Um, but not so much like the message. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the message is kind of like now just like a kid a, a kid mystery adventure sort of. Yeah. yeah. But it's not like super childish. No, that's in, it's I'm, sorry. I was going to say I'm nodding <laughs> my head in understanding. Mm, yeah. Yes, yeah. good. It's Happy it's good. I I know I, as soon as as soon as they were like, "Oh, we're in 6th grade." It was kind of I don't know, you're just sort of like, oh, what are they going to do with that? They're, they're mm-hmm. young children, what's going to happen now? And then they do kind of, they take the more mature route, which was nice. It was a good change from the usual stuff. Um, yeah, and then, but then I was kind of confused. I mean, yeah, I'm sure Alex be explained, like, the the older, or the girl who seems older and really put together gets, like, joins their sixth grade class at the end of the third episode. I was like, all right. Maybe she's she a just, robot. like, put... Put in there as like a spy for some organization she works for. Yeah, that was the first. I assume that's just something they'll develop later on. Maybe I think they were like kind of setting up the mystery in the first. Yeah, like they were just sort of setting up everything in the first three episodes because especially because it is just the first three. Um, they have had... to kind of like establish the whole world, and they're like, "Here's some of the plot." Hmm? You Four, just went three? super weird that... sounding for a moment. Yeah, you got uh, a little fuzzy uh... still. Yeah. Still legible, I wouldn't yeah, it's worry about it. Yeah. Oh, is it was it really shitty? No, you're back to normal now. It's all good. Learn to oh. Skype beta. Ugh. I'm sorry. My computer's a piece of shit. Um <laughs> Sure beta, <laughs> play the computer, God. <laughs> it's, it's my computer. Who are you, Leah? Jesus. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it actually is my computer. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. Uh, 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 <laughs> shots yeah, fired. I'm we may not be back. One, I'm the only one here with a half major piece of computer. Fired. Y'all fucking scrub here. Get wrecked. I should have said that in Australian accent. Just remember accent. I have the should've. red bubble. Remember this. Oh god. <laughs> remember. <laughs> um, yeah. I was sorry. Say I'm sorry. <laughs> Distraction. Right, back to... Back to... The show... <laughs> I had something else to say. I was just gonna comment. Um, I really liked the characters, though, even though they were still kids. But yeah. I, I just, I love, I love that grandma. I don't know. She has the most yeah. terrifying design. Like her face is horrifying, but she yeah. is a great <laughs> character. <laughs> and when they, when they introduce her, they got there up as just like a typical, you know, Asian grandma. Yeah. But then like. The same episode, they just have the shot of the grandma like whipping out all this technology and just like coding, yeah, and typing and really like, fast. I, I coded all this shit, and they're like, "What?" <laughs> the grandma's a hacker. She's, she's pretty badass, even though she's scary as fuck. Can you imagine in a few generations for us what it'll be like when we're all like, remember when there was iPhones? And our grandchildren are like, Grandma, sit down. And we're like, watch me code, motherfucker. You don't know nothing. (laughs) I've built the web. It'll it'll be fun. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Oh, the apocalypse might happen before that. You never know. Maybe. Maybe we'll all die. There's a good chance. I'm, Uh I'm holding my breath. Okay. Right. All right. I think I said pretty much everything. Well, we covered it all. Are you so, gonna... uh, will you will you keep watching the show? Um, for me, I think I think I keep watching the show, just because I really want to know what else they're gonna do with this 
the sort of universe they set up because it's really interesting uh, is- for me anyway. It's so I I would like to know where the plot is going if it gets like it seems like they're setting it up to go to deeper places and I like that. Um, so I want to know if it does. If it doesn't, that that would suck. But I'll watch it anyway. <laughs> How about oh, you? It just turns into a villain of the week show. Oh God, please no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Aren't those the best? CSI ran for Except 20 for years. <laughs> um, I would not keep watching the show mm-hmm. just because it's not really my thing. It, like, it's interesting, but it doesn't like tickle my fancy quite enough. That's you fair. Know? Mm-hmm. Liam's but pulling I a respect... Bob Ross in the background. <laughs> I respect the show. <laughs> I may or may not be painting right now. Yeah, you could hear him beat oh. his, you could hear him beat the devil out of his brush. Uh, Rip yeah, devil. like I won't keep watching it, but I respect the show. Oh, I do not regret watching enough. these three episodes how very, that I how had to watch. Sure. Thank you. All right, so we'll That's move on fair. to the bad anime now, which the shit was, anime, which was what everybody probably is waiting for. Um, dramatical murder. Mm. I. Yeah, I have a description <laughs> somewhere. Sugoi! <laughs> Kawaii desu! Nani! I, I'm clicking around, sorry. This uh, anime was neither cute or amazing. <laughs> oh, no, no, Radical why, murder maybe? description. It's shit. <laughs> it's shit. Yep, we're stealing it. It's That's fucking not wrong. shit, mate. <laughs> No. All right, I have a description. So, dramatical murder. The story takes place many years in the future where the game Rhyme, a virtual fighting game, is incredibly popular and people possess all mates. Convenient AI computers. Alba leads an ordinary life working at a junk, sh- junk shop and living with his grandmother on the island of Midori- Midorijima. Unlike his friends, he doesn't participate in Rhyme, nor does he belong in a gang. I don't know why that's relevant. It's However, so when- relevant. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll get started here. Oh dear. We'll tell you. <laughs> I can go first. We'll educate you, don't worry. <laughs> However, when rumors of people disappearing spread, Alba finds himself needing to unravel the mysteries behind the island in order to protect his everyday life. Alright, Becca and Leah had to watch this, so you guys go. Go for it, Leah. Enlighten yeah. us. So, like, in regards to why the gangs are relevant, that's exactly the question. Seriously, like, if you didn't read that description, which I didn't read it yeah. before, like, Watching it, I was like, what is happening and why does any of this matter? Oh, they God. don't tell you what rhyme is. They don't? They, do is, they no, kind they don't. of suggest what it is, though. Well, like, so briefly. Well, yeah. Like, they kind of explain what it is, but not, like, why it's a big deal. They like, explain. At all. They basically... Or, like, what's, like, involved in it. Yeah. Let's pause for a moment. First yeah. first thoughts, Leah. Yeah, that was, those were my first thoughts. Okay. Was, right, what is, like, why is any of this relevant? Why is this happening right off the bat kind of thing? So they just suck at setting up the plot, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Becca, you go. Um, this anime felt like it was maybe, like, somebody's first, ter- first time out of the gate. Like, mm-hmm. they have an idea of how an anime should be stuck together, but mm-hmm. they don't quite have the right filters to make it work yet. Um, also, you could definitely tell the budget was an issue. <laughs> as the first pilot, the pilot looks, or not the pilot, but like the first episode looks pretty nice. And then it just kind of deteriorates and goes downhill to the point where by the third episode, the main character's head keeps changing shape. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice. this is not a good anime. I don't want to see that. There's maybe, there's a few things that could work, but it's not good. It's kind of like, when you said there's a few things that stick together, it's kind of like, I feel it was a case where, like, they knew where this anime wanted to end up and not how to build it to get there. Yeah. So they kind of just, like, mm-hmm. jumped into it. Hodgepodge it together And expected from the beginning. that the world was already set up for you. Yes. Oh. And, yeah, it just didn't work. <laughs> yeah. So I see. The gangs are important because this is an island where there's gangs. And they're really important because <laughs> oh, everybody's... Dear. Everybody's buddies are in their gang, you know? And, yeah, uh, and you're supposed to be part of one. Yeah. For no reason. Um, okay. But you should be. Elba isn't, but he's buddies with a bunch of the different people from gangs. So they're all like, hey, buddy, why don't you join our gang? And he's like, no, oh, I'm good. And they're all like, why not? And he's like, I'm just good. No worries. And then carries on. There's never really any explanation <laughs> for why he isn't one of the gangs. Or, yeah, it's you know, not like, like he had, like, a traumatized or something. <laughs> yeah, and, um... 
that's the reason why there's gangs because everybody because plot because people need to be color coded and shoved into certain little areas. There is the one gang called um, Morphine. Yeah, that is never like it's introduced to be one of the main mysteries of the show. I guess they're somehow involved with the disappearances and this game that nobody explains how the game works. It's just a big game that everyone's playing. Lovely. Um, yeah. It yeah. kind of, it's, yeah, it's like a, yeah, it's just like a virtual game and you're in the game and you, like, use kind of, like, avatars to fight. Yeah. And I guess if we're getting a little yeah, more deeper into like it. Game. Yeah, aside yep. from our initial thoughts is, um, the game of Rhyme actually kind of reminded me of Summer Wars. Yes. Like, the movie. Yes. Because, like, the one, like, main, um, nemesis he fights in the first three episodes is, like, this rabbit. Yes. He's, like, a bunny. And just, like, the way it's all set up, like, it just really reminded me of Summer Wars, which was, like, kind of cool, like, aesthetically. That was my first thoughts as well. I was like, I want to go watch Summer Wars again. Yeah, me too. I was like, (laughs) I'm going to turn this off and watch Summer Wars. Yeah, it's a movie. It's a movie. I'll hook you up, Liam. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good movie. Um... Yeah, that was my exact same thought, and I was like, oh, I see what they're doing. I got that. Carry on. Um, His little puppy PC was pretty cute as well, Red. He was so cute. So he also has, like, a little robot dog, which is those... um, All mates. All mates. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of, like, they fight with you in rhyme, and I think they're also just, like, general companions. Yeah, that's kind of what I got from it, too, because everybody's companion animal is done up. Like, the the dog he has is, like, a little floofy thing, kind of like Leah's Jake. (laughs) But he wears, like, a spiked collar, which I'm like, that little (laughs) dog does not need a spiked collar. But he's (laughs) so so badass. There's, like... He yeah. talks and he has like this really like deep man voice. Yeah, yeah. That He's was like this same. cute little black fluffy puppy with his tongue that always is sticking out. Yeah, but then and there's like a deep man voice, a super deep man <laughs> voice. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's I yeah. There is um, which I think is what Becca was saying before when she's like, "I love you times five hundred, baby." Didn't the dog yes. say that or something? Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. What, what did yeah. he say? So <laughs> it's um, Akuba, Alba. Uh, Alba. Alba, Alba and Ren, is and Ren are, like, talking, and I don't even remember what it is, but they're basically saying that they care for each other, and he says, like, oh, Ren, blah, 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 I, I don't even remember, but the dog responds with, I appreciate you five million times more, baby, but the way he <laughs> so says he's it- He's just trying to be more affectionate? Yeah, but the way he says the baby part, he says it like he's really sad, so I was just like, the, the candescence of the whole sentence was just so hilarious. I was like, I need to write that down and use I, it later. I kind of want to um, see that. I'll, I can look it up probably shortly. Do it later? Yes. It's... I know there was one part in the third episode with the dog where, like, this guy comes in and is, like, threatening to hurt the dog. And I was like, oh, fuck, no, I can't do this. Like, no, what? nothing happens. But I was just like, I don't care if he's a robot. I can't do this. Nothing happens <laughs> in the third episode at all. <laughs> That's part of the issue. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Nothing happens in the third episode oh, yeah, exactly. at no. all, except a huge Honestly, circle jerk. <laughs> nothing, yeah, like, and for the whole three episodes, like, the most interesting part is in, like, the last, like, ten seconds of the third episode. Yeah. When, See, like, I thought, what I thought, happens? I thought His... the fight in the first episode was interesting. Oh, it was. I just mean, like, in the third episode? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's essentially, like, so, like, Alba lives with his grandma, Mm -hmm. and, like, the last ten seconds of the episode, she's, like, in this car with, like, a secret agent guy, and he's talking about, like, oh, so he's still alive, or whatever. So, essentially, they're, like, alluding to more, like, what the actual plot's gonna be. Setting everything up, but the whole, like, first Uh little bit. Um, So, in the first episode, he's wandering around visiting with his friends, because he's a delivery boy, kind of for this junk shop called Junk Shop Mediocrity. Yeah, yeah, which I thought was funny. I know. I was like, if I ever run a junk shop, that's what I'm naming it, because that's great. But, um, so he does deliveries for the junk store, which makes no sense. No. Um, but when he's out on his deliveries, he runs into all his friends, and everybody talks to him, and, and basically Mr. Rogers him, and everyone uh-huh. in the neighborhood knows him. It's all great. Um, <laughs> his one buddy cuts hair, and they allude to his hair hurting when it's cut. Yeah, so I guess Alba, his hair is like full of, like, nerve endings, so, like, yeah. it, he can, like, it hurts when you touch it, and, like... That's strange. He's never really had a haircut. Yeah. If your hair is, like, full of nerve endings, then, like, 
Like, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's <is> really weird. <laughs> yeah, like, and you, you know how it much it time, hurts to, it like, doesn't. cut, like, the, the actual nerve endings in your body are, like, pretty deep in the tissue. Yeah. Like, if you actually touch, like, a nerve straight out, like, that's... It's one of those things that, like, it's alluded to and it's asked at one point, like, oh, does it still hurt when people touch your hair? And then they never come back to it again. So <sighs> I assume that it's going to have come up later on in the show. Um, but it's just That's such kinda a, dumb. a weird I don't know. thing. I could think of was Bobo, and I was like, oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. He's alive. Oh, Bobo. But yeah, so essentially he, he's out on a delivery, and then he ends up getting forced into this game of rhyme. Mm-hmm. So, like, the virtual reality, kind of like a battling game or Which whatever. I totally thought it was going to be, like, rap battles for the, for the first little bit. I was <laughs> yeah, like, that makes a lot of sense. I was like, if somebody yes. starts throwing down and they start rapping, I will be so into this. Because the, with the way the title's written, I thought it was going to be a musical for a moment. Uh, so I was totally ready for, like, that. rap battle musical. That didn't happen, and I feel like an idiot now. But that would have been so. It would have been better if it did. I know. That's why I oh, wish it happened. I'm sorry, Megan. Oh, so sad. Maybe there's an anime like that out there in the world. Keep I've going, never Leah. Seen a <laughs> yeah. So he ends up getting pulled into this game of rhyme, which is where he fights that like rabbit avatar, mm-hmm. which reminded me of Summer Wars. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't know who the actual like player behind the rabbit was. Um. So whatever he. Badly. he's fighting this game of rhyme and he's doing terrible until the very end he like kind of like snaps into a trance and like gets all like epic and then like wins the, the game. Oh, Turns into course. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, oh basically. God. Did you notice that he kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! a bit where like his eyes changed? Yeah, exactly. And then he became yeah. super awesome? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yep. And then uh, later this random guy comes into the shop and like ends up breaking to his house after and it turns out he was the guy who was, like, playing the rabbit in the game, and he, like, wants, like... Well, first he starts attacking the main character, and then he changes his mind and wants him to, like, again, join his gang. Yeah. And Noise. then... When Noise. things got... Things get to get interesting in the third episode, Becca. So, well, he comes into the shop again, and he, like... Essentially, for no good... Well, not no good reason, it just doesn't matter. He ends up, like, kissing the main character because he thinks there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was what? texting Veda at this point, and I just took a screen cap, and I was like, oh my god. I laughed, I laughed way too much at that, Becca. Because really funny. Here's the thing that I started to notice was that, you know, for... There's a, there's a part where um, uh, Alba and, and his buddies sit down, and they're playing chess while they're talking about the one guy being a tattoo artist and it has no bearing whatsoever on any of the plot but at one point they start talking about women and the one guy says something about like women being beautiful and cute he just wants to like know all of them or something like that this anime has three female characters in the first three episodes the grandmother that is a stereotypical like grandmother um a girl that says nothing, she just shows up, like, twice and is obviously important because they keep looking at her, but no lines, and a little girl that runs around with two little boys terrorizing everyone in the streets. That's a good point. But everyone are, all of them are boys. Anyway, back to the boys kissing boys, (laughs) because there's no women around. Yeah, like, so what happens is, like, the little girl is, like, running around the shop with the little boys, and then the, like rabbit villain guy comes in and he's really like stoic and like whatever Badass. he like he picks up the girl kisses her hand and goes like something like rowdy girls aren't oh cute. yeah Row- yeah oh, rowdy God. girls aren't attractive or something yeah. like that and then Which... he like puts her down and she runs away and then alba's like why would you do that that was really creepy yeah and nobody then he's like well shit. it's no big deal and then he just like kisses alba <laughs> and his face, and his and face like, turns hell, a beautiful shade of magenta. <laughs> it's wonderful. That's so funny. Uh, I, oh I, my god! I'm all for boys kissing boys, but there needs to be a bit more explanation beforehand. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, this show, man. <laughs> what else? Do you have any other things to say about it? Any other comments? I worry that the. I, uh, I really wish that there was a bit more of a budget. Maybe this was a structured a bit more because um, there there is feelings of like the summer wars uh, mm-hmm. thing. I, I completely agree with Leah. I thought about that first off, and it could be really interesting. They just maybe need to get over this whole hump of not 
not having enough information for the viewer to know what the hell's going on. Yeah. I agree. Like, because there were times during it where I was like, I really want this to be good. Like, yeah. Because you're watching it and, like, although, like, the animation budget did seem, yeah, like you said, probably maybe not that much. Like, the overall, like, character design and, like, how colorful it was, like... Mm. It had promise in that way. And, and yeah, even even the storyline, if they, they just took the time to flesh it out, I think it would have been, like, really interesting and really yeah. good. But yeah. I, I really liked yeah. the pilot. I was sitting there because I, I was texting Veda at the time, and mm-hmm. she told me that um, they, I guess, had to issue a an apology for the animation. And I was thinking, that's weird, because it doesn't look that bad. I actually don't mind it. No, I quite liked it at the start. And then, yeah, like I said, the third episode happened, and I was just like, oh... Well, that's just not good at all. Like, I there's a scene where they're all sitting at a table, and you see the guys, two of the guys' feet, and it looks like a three year old drew them, mm-hmm. and it's like who who let that go out into the public? Like, um, I don't know if maybe this was a anime where they were maybe training people on, or like new artists were working. I haven't a clue what the hell happened with that, but I have if, no idea. If there's a good story, I can tolerate less than stellar animation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I mean, overall, it's, it's by far not the worst animation I've seen. Yeah, some of it's quite good. Yeah, it's just I know when watching consistent watching the dog walk. There's a couple scenes where it's like a close up on the yes. dog walking, and like his legs move, like oh, yeah. his back He's and so front legs move together. And I was just like, that's not natural at all. <laughs> oh boy, it's <laughs> a robot dog, right? I guess so, but that's their excuse. I don't know. I'm pretty sure in the first episode he didn't walk that way. No, he did not. So. Um, like I said, the budget might have screwed them over a little bit. Not good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah, those are pretty much my final thoughts, yeah. Like, it's it's kind of just too bad it wasn't uh, elaborated a little more, because I think they have, like, a good base for a pretty decent anime, but yeah. I don't think I will bother to keep going. It reminded me, <laughs> just fair. just the style reminded me a little bit of Sayuki and Gravitation, um, both of which I've only watched a little bit of, but that's kind of the style it reminded me of. And I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree. If it were if it weren't so hacked together at this point in the first three episodes, I might be more interested. But I don't have a lot of faith that it gets any better. So, yeah, I agree. Um, I I found myself really bored at certain points where I think it was meant to like build the characters and show their 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 companionship to each other. But I was just like, I'm so bored. <laughs> I agree. But again, that's where, like, we don't know these characters like that yeah. yet. So we don't yeah. appreciate any of this conversation. Exactly. Like, so, yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. I agree. It's It might be good. It's still, like, everybody's got to start the anime. This should be something, you know, entices them to watch more, to get to know the characters. Like, yeah. if when you start watching it, like, if you don't want to get to know the characters because they don't seem interesting. Like, what's the point? <laughs> like, yeah. obviously they're not doing their job. Yeah. Well, it's like they have, when they have, the characters have their first initial, like, brief introduction, it is kind of intriguing because you're like, oh, this guy is this, like, hot-looking samurai, but he's a hairstylist, <laughs> like, you know, whatever. <laughs> but then it's like, once you literally meet them all once for a couple seconds, all the other scenes are like, oh, you should just know who they are already. And yeah. we're just going to have regular conversation. I think they're and leading whatever. a... I think they're leaning a lot on stereotypes and the expectation that the, uh, the the viewer will just kind of accept that they're a certain type of stereotype. So I don't know, like definitely um, noise, the guy that comes in and, and kisses the main character. He's obviously like very stoic. I'm sure I've seen his character design elsewhere, like, mm-hmm. like almost piece for piece, like him in other mm-hmm. animes. So yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, it feels like a first outing. Not not a strong one, but... Eh. Right. What you gonna do? So, you gotta start somewhere. Are those your final thoughts? So, are you gonna watch yep. it? Yep. Nope. <laughs> I probably won't, although I almost wouldn't be surprised if I did watch some more, because, I mean, there was boys kissing boys. Um, oh. It's true. I mean, saying <sighs> that, like, not necessarily just because of that, but I mean, that did spice things up a little. Um... Like, just, for listeners, like, if you go and, like, still go give it a watch. I mean, it could get better. Yeah. I, it really could. I feel better. like you'd need maybe, like, one or two more episodes, and then you'd probably know by then if it's... I think the better. Or, or you could just watch Deno Coil and not be disappointed. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. 
I think I have some good news for you then. Um, Give it to I'm, us, Veda. I, I told Becca I was going to explain later why I know things about dramatical murder. So, I think a lot of the points you touched on are probably going to be explained by what I'm about to tell you. For those oh of boy. you listeners... <laughs> was it a game? Just destroy yes, the was. mystery! Just hang on, just hang on. For those of you who don't know out there, Dramatical Murder, the anime, was based on Dramatical Murder, the game. Oh, I is, knew it. I called which, it. Sorry. Which is a Japanese BL visual novel, which here means a yaoi dating sim. So we... Uh, <laughs> nice. Life makes sense. I would play <laughs> that the game. The whole thing's based off a yaoi dating sim. Oh, yeah. Um, I could so see that. I would play that game. Oh, just, yeah. Is yaoi... Yaoi's like... Gay, right? Yes, yeah, sir. It's, it's okay. Like, all makes sense now. <laughs> and I'm like, that, that probably explains a lot of what you're saying, because, like, the characters are probably a lot more fleshed out in the game. Yeah. But still, the, the stereotypes. The game, the I know. I know. But, like, they're, they're probably expecting the audience to have played the game and then go watch the uh, anime. So that they're like, sounds all right, like this. I'm not just saying this, like, honestly, watching it, I was wondering that. I was like, I wonder if this is based off a game, because that is kind of how it seemed to me. That is fair. Kind of sounds <laughs> like the, um, the Danganronpa anime. Brenna, Brenna's yeah. been talking about yeah. it. Sounds like it's, like she said, it's not a very good anime, and it's it was just kind of made to capitalize on the it's, fans of the it's game. To, like, yeah. Make it's because... In the, in the game, because Danganronpa has, like, a huge cast of characters, and the anime really couldn't flesh out each character to, like, you know, their full potential, mm -hmm. but in the game you have, like, all this time to, like, make yeah. connections with the characters and talk to them and learn their backstories, but the anime was only 12 episodes, and they tried to crush the whole game into those episodes. Shit. I think that's kind of all, yeah, I think you're right in saying that that's kind of what happened with Dramatical Murder, that, yeah. That just, makes way more sense, though. It does. You tricked us, Veda. I did so trick you. Trixie. Hashtag played. Hashtag oh. Trixie Veda. <laughs> sneaky Veda. Sneaky Veda. You. I'm the sneaky one. I lose. Sneaky. I mean, just just because it's based off a of visual novel doesn't mean it's it no. has to be bad though. Oh, yeah. like, no, I'm that's watching. True. I'm saying. <laughs> like I'm watching Stein's Gate right now, and that's based off a of visual novel, and Stein's Gate's really good. Mm -hmm. No, I know a lot of people like, actually nope. really like the Dramatical Murder game, which is why I think um, there's a lot of hate around for the anime because it really yeah. didn't do much justice to the game. That's the thing. Like, if I was going to make an anime based off of, like, a game or, like, a light novel or something, I'd want it to be really good because it probably already has that following. Right. So instead of, like, relying on them to fill in the blanks, it's like, no, like, they have, like, the highest standard for you possible. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Don't mess it up. Well, when I was going to say another thing, for people out there who want to watch Dramatical Murder, but then I said it was a yaoi game and you're scared, the, the anime, supposedly I've heard that, like, all of the yaoi is taken out of the anime, so there's, like, literally nothing. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's not even kiss. fun anymore. Yeah, why... Other than the kiss, I don't know. Like, I've I've just heard that they kind of neutered it like Why that. would you take the shittiest part of the game <laughs> and keep that and not keep the best part of the game? Yeah, man. I don't know. That's why everyone's like, what the fuck? It's, uh, yeah. <sighs> it's, it's kind of... It just seems like a production mess, this, this poor anime. It's just... Yep. It's yeah. just a... I just feel bad for it now. It's a know, child of bad choices. Very much so. How unfortunate. That's very sad. Well, that explains why it's a piece of shit. Yep. Hello. He's closed. Yep. He's closed. Mystery solved. Or adjourned. Murder solved. Good Ooh, job, Scooby oh. Gang. Good job, all of us. Yeah, we nailed all it. Right. Perfect. All right. We're gonna do marbles now? Yeah, let's do mm -hmm. it. So Leah is picking, has picked the animes today. I I'm have scared already. So she already I has have. them. Hey, don't in. worry, I'm being kind this time. I think I'm pretty sure oh, you said okay. that before, we'll and it still <laughs> sucked. <laughs> okay, okay. So we have what the marbles. Who wants to be our first person today? Me, because I'm picking. All right, Leah, you get a white marble. How nice! Yay. Who's next? Alright, Veda is also a white marble. Oh, hooray. Which means it's you and me, Liam. 
which one of us gets uh, stuck watching? Me. <laughs> which one of us gets stuck <laughs> watching Leah's choice? <laughs> Liam, are you next? Yes. You are the red marble, my friend. Dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Whatever. I can deal. Hopefully. You can change it up a bit. Get rid of some of the girly animes. Should I? Should I pick? Pick your person. Mm. Pick your buddy. Pick your shit buddy. Yeah, your whole buddy. Uh, your, whole your whole buddy. buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Veda because she's stealing oh. my girlfriend from me tomorrow. <gasps> oh come <laughs> on, Veda! What the fuck? How could you? <laughs> I'm stealing his waifu. <laughs> Liam's our friend. We don't abuse our friends. It's too late. We but already just did plans. Friend is also our friend. Doesn't mean you're allowed to do that. Yeah. Come what on. the hell? I have rights. I to can Brenna. He- I can hear Liam's heart just breaking in the background. <laughs> For those who Aww. don't know, Brenna is Liam's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> the bait is stealing. Oh, no, I've been Brenna. trying to keep it subtle. Home wrecker. <laughs> okay, tell us what we're watching. Okay, so. Oh, crap. Do you want the good anime or the bad anime first? Please good, good first. Please good. Good. Tell us okay. about the theme. If there's a theme. Oh, right. There's, there's a bit of theme. Um, okay. So the theme this week is kind of like um oh my god words words that's okay so many words <laughs> it's kind of more like uh futuristic so- not even futuristic kind of like post apocalyptic societies mm. okay that, that sort of thing me. yeah so for the good anime so becca and i will be watching this correct Ooh, yes okay we are watching shinsekai yori so kk a millennium from now in Japan exists a utopia. The protagonist, Saki Watanabe, lives in ideal an Id- <laughs> lives in an idyllic ideal village, whatever. <laughs> Far nice, from the a nice a pretty world. village. I can't English. Okay. <laughs> okay. Her world is ruined by people who possess the god's power of psychokinesis. After finally obtaining her powers, Saki enters the Senjin Academy to train along five other children, Satoru, Maria, Mamoru, Shun, and Reiko. Not all is how it seems, however. In this village, strange rumors of a monstrous cat that abducts children circulate, and <laughs> students are said to disappear from the academy. The world and its history yeah, are much yeah, darker yeah. than they appear, and humanity is on the verge of collapsing. I mean, a monstrous cat? cat? Yeah, a monstrous cat. I'm sold. I hope there's a cat I'm bus. <laughs> All aboard the cat, that's for height. I think this anime is darker than it sounds, though. It sounds like it could very much yeah. be dark because it's, it's post apocalyptic. Kind of, yeah. I'm like it's, kind of in. The tone. it's not a happy giant cat. Did any of you guys ever watch the Aladdin animated show? Yes. Yes. So oh. there was, a, I don't know if you'll remember, but there's an episode where there's like this monster thing that was stealing children to make them also monster things. No. They put them into a portal. Oh, God, it's been. It's I don't been know. So long. That just came to this mind. Sound very Aladdin like. And I was like, I'm in for this. Well, one of the, the kids, show was like, you know, one of the kids was like some kid he ran into once, and he was like, we got to care about that now. Anyway, <laughs> that's what that's what came to my mind immediately, and I was like, I'll watch a darker, more grown up version of that. Hell's yes. Mm. So bring it. A plus. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All so, right. Give it the to bad me. one. So this one I think will be a little interesting because looking on my anime list and kind of throughout the anime community. It's either high rated or terribly rated. It's oh, like dear. either a ten or like a three. Controversial. Yeah, and it's funny because the caption, like the caption you commonly see for it, is "Whose side are you on?" <laughs> oh, oh Team dear. Jacob. Okay. <laughs> Word. Team okay. Jack's mustache. Team so. Angel. Oh, the Team name. Angel. We're not even gonna start that fight. <laughs> Come on, Becca. Okay, hold on, guys. We can save the Buffy for I'm later. Fucking go, mate! I'll smash ya. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, guys. It's so close. Okay, yes. okay, go. It's called Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Is it based on the old poem? Possibly. Anyway, I think I've heard so, of this one. After an explosion at an archaeological excavation research facility in the Middle East, the world has changed in unthinkable ways. The sky is suddenly a mirror, electronic devices mysteriously no longer work properly, and children who are born after this point seem to have strange metaphysical powers. Society is but a shell of its former self, and in the midst of clandestine forces that brought about this eerie apocalypse is an elite group of young, powerful mutants who are working to restore the world under the direction of a woman known only as the Countess. The story centers on a brother and sister, Tetsuya and Kyoko, the children of a scientist at the Twin X facility. 
Hmm. Not based on the poem. It sounds pretty epic, so I'm kind of interested. like anime X-Men, almost. Yeah. So I'm interested yeah. to see how it goes, because it's got some terrible reviews or really good ones. I didn't really find any in between. So. I'm very, very curious now. I so we'll see. Out just for the shits and giggles. Mm-hmm. Neat. Mm-hmm. Go check out Deno Coil first, Becca. So much work. <gasps> Finish <laughs> Kill a Kill first, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do need a new show, oh. so one of these things will have to happen. I, well, have you finished later. Kill a Kill? No, sorry. There is an English dub of it. So. <gasps> oh, that might make it easier. When did that come I out? Know, uh, I don't know if it's on Netflix, but I know one exists. I've seen parts of it. Mm-hmm. It's not as good as the sub, because the Japanese because, voice yeah. actors are just so badass in that show. Yeah. But, I mean, I understand the need to be able to watch multitasking while doing something else. I'll probably stick with, with the sub, just because, you know... I started with the sub. I just need to sit down and actually get back into it. But mm-hmm. Mako's voice is just way better in yeah. the sub. Well, everybody's voice is, but especially Mako's voice. Yeah. Yeah. She's great. This is off topic. Yeah. All right, still kids. Anime. Not really. It's still anime, and it's still awesome. Yeah. We're, I guess we're so. We're cool. Yeah. Everyone loves us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, bitches. Any other comments we need to make? <laughs> Ooh, we have a Facebook page now. Oh, yeah! If if you're a listener, you may have already seen the Facebook page, because this episode will be coming out much later than the Facebook page has been started. I don't know what I'm saying. So many words. Anyway, like us on Facebook to keep up to date with our releases and shit, I guess. I don't know. We're also on iTunes. Make us feel a little bit better about ourselves. Maybe we'll post... Also, comment! We'll post some dank memes or something. Yeah, we'll try. Oh, I'm good at that. Yeah. Go for it, Liam. Or just like shitty screen caps of poorly drawn feet. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't we can't become just one of those entertainment pages on Facebook that just reblogs other people's videos. But Liam, that's oh, how I'm going to make my it. millions by stealing other people's work. Yeah. Yeah. I like, just figured out. I just I don't want to be like so flow. Well we're gonna be fast flow. No fast God. and furious oh. flow. Ant flow? Okay. Oh god, this is deteriorating <laughs> horribly. And we're done. All right. Bye. What are we doing? Thanks Goodbye. for listening. Don't forget Bye. to comment. Like us on Facebook. I appreciate you five million times more, baby. We love you. Mm-hmm.